Hi, my name is Eric Dahl from OmniFit, and today I want to talk about something you do every single day. Can you guess what that is? No? Well, it's walking. We walk every day. And I don't know if you knew this, but when you don't walk efficiently or really well, there's a higher probability of losing your balance and falling. So I'm gonna go through some really good actionable things you can do to improve your walking, also called gait, and lower that probability of falls. Let's get into it. So you may be asking, why would you want to improve your walking? Well, let's be honest. Walking is your primary mode of transportation. And as seniors, as we get older, as seniors get older, walking is so important because, let's be honest, if you have a shorter stride or you have a shorter, choppier stride, it actually leads to a higher probability of falls, which is why my first point is take bigger strides. So folks, what did you notice? You notice that I took bigger strides, but I also used a lot of arm action and I landed heel toe on each step. So take bigger strides for point number one again. Point number two is soft tissue work. So if you have a baseball, a softball, anything that has a little bit of firmness, put it under your foot like I have it under mine. If balance is an issue, hold on to a wall or a chair and then once you're here, I want you to roll it right under your foot. And what you should feel is a little bit of tension under your feet. The main reason I want you to do this is it helps improve that fascia, that little um, tenderness that you might have under your foot that helps allow you to take those bigger strides that I was mentioning in exercise number one. So exercise number, exercise number two is rolling our ball under our feet and really feeling a little bit of pressure. And once we're here, once we've done it for about 20 or 30 seconds, go to the ground, same foot, same leg. We're gonna go ahead and put that ball in the ankle calf area. And again, roll it forward and backwards, really focusing on the areas that are a bit stiff and tight. This is all gonna help that foot ankle mobility that's gonna help your walking. Last but not least, folks, all I want you to do is find some stairs. I know you have some stairs. If you live in an apartment, you live in a house, wherever it is, find some stairs. And all I'm gonna have you do is work your ankles, your calves, and your hips. So to do this, you would take a step right on top of the stairs, holding on, and once you're here, all I want you to do is drop your heels as low as they can go. What you should feel is a really good stretch right in your calves, ankle area. And once you've held for about 20 or 30 seconds, this is where I want you to put your foot on either the first step or the second step and drive your hip forward. And you're gonna hold again for 20 or 30 seconds. And of course, make sure you do it on both legs. So folks, if you do all those three points, the soft tissue, the stretching on the stairs, and taking bigger strides, you'll be walking better before you even know it. So folks, thank you so much. Please like and subscribe. This is Eric Daw from OmniFit. Take care.